Hello, E2. All right, today we're going to do a hard drive upgrade on the Asus K55N laptop. Let me open this up here. Now, the hard drive that comes stock with these is pretty darn slow. It's a Hitachi, or in what's now HGST, uh, 750 gigabyte hard drive with 8 megs of cache. That's standard for your normal hard drive in a laptop of that size, but it's not fast enough. It's just not. And we'll talk about that while I boot it up. See, <clears throat> this laptop had Windows 8 on it originally. I decided to downgrade it to Windows 7, as you can see, uh, simply because I don't like the direction that Windows 8 is going, especially with 8.1 and uh, forcing the cloud down your throat and a bunch of other stuff like that. So I decided to just go back to 7. And since I did that... Uh, it really just shows how slow this hard drive is. You can see that hard drive light's just on constantly half the time. That's the hard drive light right there. It's just on. <laughs> and it's like that after it boots up, too. It's kind of ridiculous. And it's a bottleneck to the entire machine, and it's something they really shouldn't include out of the box on these. Um, a hard drive like the one I'm about to show you really belongs in a USB enclosure rather than in a computer. They shouldn't be using these as boot drives, but nonetheless they are. You can see how slow it is starting up. Look, even the circle stopped moving there for a second because it was trying to sort of think about it. This is what I've had to deal with every day. <laughs> Waiting for this. This, what I used to do <clears throat> and have done with this laptop is on la on computers with slow hard drives. I used to just turn them on, go do something else for a while, and come back, and it would be booted up. See how long that took? That's it's not even done yet. Like, look at that. It's so slow, and it's not because of the specs. It's because of the hard drive. I mean, look at that. The hard drive light is on constantly because it's just reading and reading and reading and reading. Look how long it's taking to load the desktop. <laughs> That's ridiculous. This laptop is is uh, like a month or two old. It's almost two months old. It's that that's ridiculous <laughs> for any laptop to be that slow. And they give you the slowest the slowest hard drive they possibly can. It works. It's reliable, but it's really slow. So what I've decided to do to what I did today was I got another drive. Now when you upgrade a laptop these days you have three different options. You have traditional hard drives. You can get higher performance ones such as ones with 16 or 32 megs of cache for laptops. I've seen one terabyte drives with 32 megs of cache, even 64 megs. <clears throat> uh, you can get an SSD which, element, which means you sacrifice space for speed. Which, speed is good, but losing space, I'm not a fan of. And then there's something in between, which is what I bought. And that is a hybrid drive. The only people who make those are Seagate right now, so they're the only game in town. So you can only get them from them, so I guess that's their technology. But it's a really good idea. Basically what they do with a hybrid drive is they put a little 8 gig MLC SSD as a, ca as a cache... Uh, on these drives. So frequently used stuff will end up on the little SSD inside. Uh, like like the stuff used to load the operating system. So this, so it's a really good idea. I mean, y you get the speed of an SSD with the storage of a hard drive. It's like, it's like the Intel smart there's, there's this thing that Intel has where you can put an SSD in your computer and basically use it as cache for your hard drive. This essentially puts that all in one package. Now, as you can see, it's still a 5400 RPM drive, but it has 64 megs of cache, supports SATA 6 gig, and it has a little SSD on there. So it should be a much, much, much faster experience despite it being 5400 RPM. <clears throat> now, as far as I know, 5400 RPM in a laptop is equivalent to 7200 RPM in a, in a desktop as far as speed goes, so it shouldn't be that big a deal as long as you have a, a bunch of cash. 
So, there you have it. I bought this at a Tiger Direct store in person. I went down to Delaware and got this. So, it comes in this weird packaging. So, yeah, there you have it. <clears throat> Let's do a, the upgrade on this laptop. Now, what's really nice about this Asus laptop is that this door right here has everything. You, has, you get access to almost everything except for the APU itself. Just undo some of these screws here. There's like two screws and that's really it. It's just dead easy. You open up this panel and you do your and you do whatever you need to do with your computer. All right, I took both those little screws out, just got them out so that they uh, didn't fly all over the place. Now, it's very easy to open this. You just put your hand here, you pull back, then it comes right off. There's no, like, you don't have to pry it or anything. It just comes straight off. And here you get access to the hard drive, the wireless card, the RAM, the SD card slot. So you have everything here, basically, except for the, uh, the APU itself. You have to disassemble the machine to upgrade that. But then all you do is undo all the screws for the hard drive, and uh, you are good to go. So I'll do that, and we'll be on our way. Got the screws out. There's one there, 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 and there. So you just take all those out, slide the hard drive back. You can take it straight out. Here's the stock hard drive that came with this machine. It is a 750 gigabyte, 5400 RPM drive. Uh, with 8 megs of cache. And 8 megs of cache is really the bottleneck here. I've just discovered it's missing a screw. Nice. That's weird. Anyway, uh... It's actually, wow, it's actually an advanced format hard drive, too. Go figure that, eh? Here's both the drives side by side. Now Seagate calls these SSHD. There's a little SSD cache of 8 gigs and then it uses a hard drive for the rest of the storage so and this is the reason I chose this is because it's the perfect sort of middle ground between a hard hard, hard drives having hard drive space and putting an SSD in here it's completely perfect for that so and I've never I've, I've never actually tried one of these before and I figured it was worth a shot uh, because I've, I want to see how these perform and supposedly they perform really well so I think I'll be pretty happy with it as long as it doesn't start getting bad sectors like most Seagate drives do. They don't all do it right away, but I've had pretty bad luck with Seagate drives in the past. So, yeah, hopefully this is a good one. And what's going to happen to this drive afterwards? Well, I'm just going to stick this into a USB enclosure because at that point USB will be the bottleneck rather than the uh, uh, the cache on the hard drive. So that that's really what this these drives should be used for anyway is storage rather than a boot drive. This will make an amazing boot drive, and I think you'll see. Okay, so I tried cloning the uh, the Hitachi drive to this uh, thing, and Clonezilla did not like it, Gparty did not like it, none of the stuff I used liked it at all, so I suspect it has something to do with the fact of it being a hybrid drive. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reinstall Windows on that drive and copy my Steam folder and other crap off of this drive using a USB enclosure. It'll just make life easier to do it that way, so. Alright, so. Let's get the drive in there. Sweet. Let's button it back up and uh, install Windows. Alright, Windows is installing on this laptop here. And I have the... I have the old hard drive in this uh, enclosure here, in this Nexstar enclosure. And I will copy all the Steam games back on with this particular enclosure and then format the drive and all that stuff so that's all set up there now all I have to do is wait for this to install update it get all my stuff back on there and then we can check out the performance rating in Windows alright so I got the drivers installed and I got service pack 1 installing and just rebooting after doing drivers I've noticed quite a speed improvement uh, it boots up a lot faster than uh, it used to on that old hard drive, and I bet some of that is just simply having 64 megs of cache on the drive, but some of that's probably the little SSD that's built in as well. Now, I wanted to clear up how that little SSD works. I, me I mentioned it as a cache. As far as I know, this is just from my memory, so don't quote me on this, that little SSD is supposed to store frequently used files, such as 
you know, your op this, the files for the operating system and, uh, you know, Firefox or something that you use to browse the internet frequently. It's just basically supposed to put files that are used frequently on that in that cache. So that is why it makes it faster. Now, if you were to write to this hard drive, I don't think the write speeds will change from a traditional drive simply because you're not writing to the cache, you're writing to the drive. And the drive simply puts your most frequently used items in the in the eight in the eight gig cache. So that's how a hybrid drive works. It it kind of it brings the two together in a way that makes sense. Just to clear up what that cache is actually used for. And I'll show you a full cold boot once I'm done updating and installing software and all that stuff. Alright, it's the next day. And I have basically everything installed in this thing except for Office. So I'll install that after I'm done here. But I figured I'd show you guys a boot test of this and then show you a little bit more about what these hybrid drives are all about. So <clears throat> let's turn this on and I'll show you boot time. Compare this to the beginning of the video where the Hitachi drive would just drag along because of that 8 megs of cache. That's one thing I've noticed about this drive. It takes a little while to sort of get going, and then it goes. There you go, straight to the login screen with no, you know, dragging its feet or anything like that. So let's log in. See, what a difference. What a difference. Remember before how it would just kind of struggle to get to the desktop? It wouldn't load all the icons, it would load just the background and just take its sweet time. Well, that there, folks, is SSD performance. That's what the little 8 gig SSD on the hybrid drive does to your performance. It puts... Seagate calls it hot files, which are basically files that, that are used the most. It puts on the little 8 gig SSD that's built into the uh, hybrid drive. Now I have a link. I'll just watch Firefox open. See, things like that, it, it's not always instantaneous, but it's a lot faster than it was before. One thing I should mention is that the, uh, the, the hard drive still gets a 5.9 because it doesn't benchmark the little SSD. The SSD is used for cache, so when you put a hybrid drive in a machine, the rating will not change. It'll read just like a, like, it'll, it'll basically benchmark the hard drive portion of the hybrid drive. Now, how these hybrid drives works is they use something called adaptive memory technology. And I think that's a Seagate uh, outfit, that type of technology. Now this is usually what you have to do to use an SSD as cache. You have to have a separate hard drive and a separate SSD or, you know, one of the uh, SSD cards that you can stick in the uh, MSATA slot of your motherboard. And what can happen here is if your chipset has problems, you can, lo you can lose data integrity, which... It's kind of a pain, but most I've seen most instances of this working fine. I've never really seen that. Here's what the hybrid drive does. It puts all that on the hard drive, so you don't have to use any software on your computer or anything. It's just all integrated into the drive, so you don't have to have separate components around, which I think is the best solution for a laptop, because not every laptop has two hard drive bays uh, built in. Sometimes you have to take the DVD drive out in order to do that. But me, I'd rather have everything in one little package, and that's what this hard hybrid drive is. There's proof that it uses a little 8 gig SSD on there. Now what I figure is that this, <clears throat> uh, this I will actually get faster over time, because this is one of those pieces of te technology that has to sort of learn what you do. 
and it's gotten faster since I've uh, been using it because uh, it, it has this is because the SSHD makes intelligent determinations about which data to store in NAND flash memory which means that it has to learn as you go along so when you first get this it'll probably just act like a regular hard drive for a while uh, just the extra cache alone, the 64 megs of buffer cache that's on this drive, really helped it along just by itself. So I saw that as an improvement already. Now I see the the little SSD starting to take effect. It's so much faster than uh, that 8 megs of cache Hitachi drive, which is still a good drive. It's just awfully slow. <clears throat> so that's basically what the hybrid drive is all about. It's, it's, it uses that 8 gigs as a cache, similar to what you would do with the Intel SRT technology. I think that's what it's called. It's where, you, you, it's where you use a regular SSD and a hard drive both, and you use the SSD for cache. That's an Intel, Intel has a uh, technology that lets you uh, do that. This just integrates it all into one convenient package in that uh, hard drive. The uh, hybrid drive, actually. And I hope more than just Seagate catches on to this because I think it's a really good idea for technology. Uh, I fig I know other companies like Western Digital do make solid state drives, so maybe they'll have a product in the future. I don't know. But for now, Seagate is really the only outfit that does this. Seagate's pioneered other technologies uh, in hard drives before. They this is one that I think they're pioneering now with these hybrid drives and in the past they uh, pioneered something called perpendicular recording which basically allowed a lot more space to be put on a hard drive uh, if I remember right they're kind of the some, so a lot of the time they're kind of the first to the table with the sort of stuff so we may see other hard drive manufacturers start to do this in the future I at least I hope because the technology is such a good idea because you get responsiveness and you get space which is exactly what I was after on this laptop. It'll make this laptop much nicer to use, I think. It already has, really. I mean, you, I mean, I open Windows Explorer. It takes... It's instant because of that SSD. Look at this. Done. Instant. It never used to be like that. So, it definitely has made a huge performance improvement. I definitely recommend the Seagate hybrid drives for laptops. Uh, they They really are the best of both worlds, in my opinion. Even if you don't like Seagate, um, I urge you to give these a try just because of the technology that's in them because they're pretty awesome. And that's been an upgrade of my Asus K55N's hard drive. Now it's a now it has a hybrid drive in it. Hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully this uh, helped you understand hybrid drives a little bit more if you've never heard of them before. And well, there you go. Have a good one, everybody. Ciao.